Okay, so good evening. I am here in the Angus Glen, I think it's called Glen Clover, I think if I'm correct. Um, I'm up at Airlie's Monument, which is yeah high up in the glens um, in the Angus sort of area on the east coast of Scotland. I've never been to this location before. I've seen the location on social media, so I thought to try and give it a go myself and get some nice astrophotography because it is pretty, pretty dark out here. Uh, I've already sent the drone up just to kind of look around the area, so I'll pop that footage up and it's just an absolutely stunning location around here, so I'll definitely be back around these sort of glens more often. Excuse the, <laughs> there's pheasants and grouse all about the place here, so you might hear them. Um, but yeah, it's just me here in this little car park. The Airlies Monument is just, I think it's about a 20 minute walk, going by how, going by what the drone saw, it's just kind of over the trees, uh, you'll see it in the footage. And yeah, really nice dark skies here, so I'm hoping to capture Orion over it. Plus there's also some Northern Lights activity uh, throughout the next few days, so maybe we might get some Northern Lights. Uh, but yeah, just pretty much setting up everything, I had to clean the van. I've not been doing much photography for about a month now, since about New Year's Day, I think the last time I was out. Uh, I've just been busy personally, and I've been kind of setting up the astrophotography tours that are happening at, the, at next season, so at the end of the year, so they start, they're starting like September, October sort of time, and uh, yeah, I'm just doing astrophotography tours around Scotland, so feel free to check check my website and uh, look at all that sort of stuff. So it's uh, going really well, and hopefully, you know, travel around Scotland doing this with all you guys, which is going to be fantastic, so yeah, check the website uh, to see that. But other than that, I'm just going to wait for darkness, I can see a few stars now, I think I can see Jupiter and just go head up to the monument because I've never been up there before so I'd like to kind of see it uh, in kind of the light conditions and let's try and get some nice ash photography finally for the first time in a few weeks Okay, so after about a 20 minute walk, um, I've arrived at the, the wall, the, I was going to say Wallace Monument, the um, R. Lee Monument, which is quite nice. It kind of looks like the Wallace Monument to me, it's just standing alone on its own. Uh, there's a wee bit of cloud around, as you can kind of see. Venus is really, really bright, so literally just waiting a wee bit longer just for darkness, because it's still a tiny bit of twilight over sort of the Venus area. Uh, I've just done like a 360 around the, the monument and um, it's literally just the monument. I thought there might be a wee bit of foreground, but yeah, it's pretty bare, it's just moorland heather around uh, the structure, so I'll just be photographing the structure just now. Unfortunately, the aurora, I thought the aurora might be a wee bit active tonight, but it's kind of as uh, dead as a dodo just now, so looks like we'll just kind of con concentrate on getting the nice constellations. So. Yeah, let's just wait 10 or 15 more minutes and hopefully this cloud clears a wee bit because it's a bit of a pain but it's kind of that fast moving low cloud which I'm sure it will um, pass pretty quickly. But yeah, it's good that Venus is still in the sky, I kind of forgot about that so I'll try and get Venus in a picture before it goes behind the horizon and yeah, let's just kind of carry on with the night and see what happens. So my first stop is to photograph Venus, which is obviously looking really nice just now. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get my cameras out and capture it. So usual, I'm using this Sigma 14mm 1.4 and let's just hope it turns out a lovely image. I'm sure it will be. I had to move back a wee bit as well because on top of the monument there's like a wee spire, as you can see on the, like, the top left of it. So I obviously want to capture the wee spire on the monument, because that's what the monument looks like. So I had to move back to be able to see the top of it. Um, so, hence my position just now. <laughs> there's a wee back here. 
but with this 14 millimeter I think it's still gonna look pretty damn wide but I love this lens so much and I pretty much use this lens for all of my photography not the darkest skies ever up here there's still quite a lot of light pollution you can see from like Kerry Muir, Forfar area and Blair Gowdy's not too far away so there's still a bit of light pollution but honestly to the north is like the Glen Clover so I bet you if you're in there in the Glen you wouldn't get all this light um, but it's still pretty dark I had the monument to myself for about an hour and then I noticed some headlights sort of coming up the hillside and noticed more astrophotographers were coming up. So I had to kind of dodge them a wee bit throughout the night um, and obviously stay out of their way. But as you can see as well, if you look on the monument, you can see kind of car headlights hitting the monument. So another wee downside to the area, car lights do sort of go on the monument quite a lot, which was a bit frustrating. So you did have to time your photography pretty bang on. Okay, so uh, yeah, that was a bit of a awkward half an hour there. There was two people that came uh, up the hill, which is absolutely fair enough. Did some astrophotography. They weren't very chatty, so I kind of left them to it. Uh, but a wee bit of high cloud came in there as well, so I couldn't really do much. So I kind of went to the other side of the monument to try and get a Ryan. But I don't know. Looking south from this location, you're kind of looking over the central belt, like Dundee, Perth and um, it just doesn't look good, it's just not dark skies, it's kind of, you can just see the light pollution so I don't think I'm going to shoot Orion from this area but now I'm going to shoot the plough which is up there, hopefully you can see and yeah, now I've got back to the whole place to myself uh, Venus is still over there which is really nice but thank god the high cloud went away because I thought the high cloud was going to come in and ruin everything but literally this place is pretty much only good at shooting like north, um, north, east and west. So northern lights would be amazing here, but I'm pretty sure if, the, if there was a good northern light show, this place would be pretty busy because it's quite well known in this area. So I don't fancy sharing the area with loads of people. Um, but yeah, I'm going to shoot the plough just now and see how it turns out because it looks really, really good. So it's extremely hard to film like astro vlogs where pretty much wherever I go because it's just full of heather P pretty much I swear to god the last few videos that I've made have been like in heather ground and I can't put a tiny little tripod in heather it's just a nightmare so you're currently resting on my bag uh, which is fair enough so let's see what this composition looks like let's go I'm just going to do a, ver a vertical and a landscape one um, a normal settings for this I'm going to go uh, 20 seconds exposure, ISO 1000, make sure everything's focused. So with the live view, I just zoom in and manually focus it. 
I appreciate that, like not every camera's got a great live view so it's a wee bit hard to focus in the dark. Um, but yeah, thankfully this camera does amazing live view. As I said as well at the start of the video, my Astro tours, like weekend tours, are going to be you know available from September, October this year. So feel free to go on my website and check all that out. So if you want to do this sort of thing and tour about Scotland, photographing the dark skies, hopefully seeing northern lights, pretty much everything that is in the night sky, um, go on my website and have a wee look of uh, about the workshop and see see what you think so yeah I'm lo really looking forward to next season as pretty much next season is going to be full time astrophotography which I'm really looking forward to so let's see how we get on with this picture looks really nice and now we just need a star glow filter and this, then this image will be perfect Okay, so I think that's going to be me for tonight. Got a few pictures, probably only about two, three, maybe four good worthwhile pictures. Uh, yeah, just looking south just didn't work at this location. So I'm sure I've popped them all up and hopefully you enjoyed it. And it was nice just to get out for the first time in a few weeks because obviously I've just not. Uh, so thanks for watching. Have a look at my website again for the workshops and yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the image. I'm going to go home now because it's getting a wee bit cold. So we'll see where we end up next time.